Hello, my name is Brittany Bradley. I want to thank you all for joining me as I tell you a little bit about myself and my journey this year. We'll discuss a little bit about who I am, my public allies journey, my amazing placement organization, the Next Generation Service Corps, and what this past year has taught me. And with that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy, because my life is basically a movie. So who is Brittany, you ask? Well, let me introduce me. Hi, I'm Brittany. I was born and raised in Springfield, Illinois, the real capital of Illinois. Growing up, I had the pleasure of being raised in two households, and my two older brothers, Brian and Mackenzie, followed me to both. In one house, I had my amazing moms. Yeah, I know. You wish you had two moms, too. The other was my dad and his wife. Growing up wasn't always rainbows and butterflies, but several aspects of what happened then are the reason why I am me today. I always had a curiosity for what this world could offer, so right out of high school I attended Western Illinois University. A few months after graduation, I decided it was time for a bigger change. I took a long, very, very long, 23 hour car ride over to Phoenix. With no friends or family, and I've been here for almost three years now. I have the most amazing man named Roman. My boyfriend Hector is okay too. Roman has been my light in moments of darkness and also my birth control because a dog is all I need right now. But there's a lot more about me I could share, but let's move on for now. Before we press play on public allies, we first have to rewind the story a bit. My public allies story started way before I even knew what public allies was. Back when I was in high school, I applied for a job with the Human Rights Campaign, HRC. For those that don't know what HRC is, it's one of the largest LGBTQ plus civil rights organizations. LGBTQ plus representation is something that is very important to me. So getting a chance to work with such a large organization would have been amazing. Well, as you can probably guess, that didn't work out. But as I always say, what is meant for you will find you. Fast forward and I'm now living in Phoenix. Unhappy with my job and my life at the time, I spent most of my days searching for a job in the nonprofit field, not knowing what I actually wanted to do. When one day I see an opening with public allies and it changed everything. My story continues with my amazing placement organization, the Next Generation Service Corps. Through Public Allies, I was placed at Arizona State University with the Next Generation Service Corps, NGSE. In the NGSE, we develop character-driven, adaptive leaders charged with driving positive impact both locally and globally. NGSE leaders are armed with the courage to cross sectors, connect networks, and ignite action for the greater good. I spend my time leading and training our student leaders as the student leadership assistant. My time with the NGSC has been nothing short of amazing. I've been given the opportunity to build relationships with my coworkers. I've developed professionally and had the freedom to create and implement new processes in a place where my big and small successes are recognized and celebrated. I was chosen to bring this brand new position to life. And through my journey, I've learned that if you love what you do, It's not work at all. After Public Allies, I hope to continue my work with the same people who welcomed me back when my journey all began. I learned a lot this year through this process, so I hope you also have enough popcorn because here's the good stuff. This year I have learned my health is important. Health is more than just eating clean. It's mental and physical. It's the environment I allow myself to be in the people I interact with, people I'm in a relationship with, and the choices I make. Stuff happens and it's up to me to make the best of every situation I'm in. This is something that I know a lot of people struggle with. Life throws curveballs and puts us through things we didn't plan for, don't want, and don't like. We cannot control what happens in life. All we can control is how we react to it. Something I've learned is that if it's in you, it's for you. We are each equipped with everything we need to be successful in our own individual lives. I am not defined by what I do, what I've done, or where I am in life. 
I think this lesson hits the hardest when everything has been taken from you. I am not any more me because of the things that I have or do not have in life. I am me because of what is underneath all of that. We as people often put off a persona to make others feel better. But what we cannot give them, what we don't already possess. Comparing our life and what we have to others when what we really need to do is respect and love our individual selves. I am in the exact place I'm supposed to be at this very moment. I'll find my passion through my path. I thought I knew exactly what my interests were before I started Public Allies. I was wrong. We all have moments where we ask ourselves, what am I doing here? Or where do I go from here? As humans, we crave certainty, but it is best to let yourself figure it out along the way and enjoy every moment. Mindset is everything. We are each composed of a 20% and an 80% self. Once we know exactly what those people are, it'll help us make decisions to implement in our lives. 80% of our creation in this life comes from your mindset. The moment we make a decision, no other options exist. Once we have clarity, we have responsibility. What will I do? What actions will I take? My higher level is no longer optional. It's mandatory. Sometimes doing my best is not really doing my best. I've always said saying no is one of my weaknesses. I always wanted to prove that I am capable of doing and being more. But life is a balancing act. And sometimes the best thing to do is to let a few imperfections go and focus on what is more important. I realize I have some pretty amazing people in my corner who are willing and able to lend a helping hand. You can't get in everywhere in life doing it all by yourself. Hi everyone, me again. I just want to take this opportunity to be in this moment with you. Before we all head back our separate ways, I just wanted to take this time to speak directly to my fellow public allies. The ones that came before me, the ones who are currently here with me, and the ones that may follow. Always remember this, you're not alone. Every moment is a learning opportunity for us to better ourselves and to better those around us. One last thing that I've learned this year was persistence. It made me realize that all of the opportunities that I've been denied were just too low. The level they were on was a level that we've already passed. Always remember, by them allowing you that opportunity, it would have set you back in your journey of growth. Be blessed it wasn't for you, because what is for you won't deny you. And when it's your time, it's always the right time. I just want to thank each and every one of you for spending this time with me and for taking this ride with me. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I have.